Okay, so Taylor Swift is coming to my city and just about every other city. Since I've done that video about Taylor Swift fans, you know, AKA Swifties wearing diapers to the concerts, it's been a whole lot of chats just over social media. I mean, not about my video, obviously, but just in general. It's summertime and there are lots of people out there on road trips, at summer concerts, or just hanging and relaxing. Surprisingly, there are lots of people out there who want to wear a diaper based on convenience. It has nothing to do with a medical condition and it has nothing to do with belonging to the ABDL community. It is just simply out of convenience. Let's face it, who really wants to use one of those portable potties? Now imagine yourself at an eight hour concert in the park and there are only about 10 portable potties and you have thousands of people at that concert and you are in a line with hundreds of people. I can understand why a lot of people are not turning toward wearing adult diapers. In today's video, we're gonna talk about five things you should consider if you plan on wearing an adult diaper purely out of convenience. Let's jump into this. All right, number five. I highly recommend you consider the type of protection that you're gonna need. Whether you're gonna need light, moderate, or heavy. And that really just depends on how many times you plan to use it in that one period or how long you're at that event. If you plan to be at an event for about three hours and you're considering using it maybe one time and you're gonna have one complete void, I would say somewhere between a medium, which is also a moderate, will be sufficient. On the other hand, if you plan on being at an event and you're considering four hours plus, I would strongly recommend a diaper that will give you that maximum protection. Jumping into number four, things that you really want to consider, should I go with the grocery store slash pharmacy brand diapers or should I go with the medical brand style? Now just to let you know, most medical diapers are considered to be better quality, better material and more absorbent and of course it's going to be a little higher in price and for those of you considering the abdl diapers the big bulky colorful juvenile print diapers something like this they are of course more absorbent but they are on the other hand a little more bulky and um, they are a little more expensive number three should i go with a diaper versus a pull-up and for those of you who are wondering like what's the difference here is an adult pull-up as you can see it is, is exactly what it says you pull it on you pull it off it's super convenient because you wear it just like a regular underwear and you can pull it off to remove and change yourself versus a diaper a diaper has the tabs on it and the tabs aka also known as the tape these tapes tabs they are similar to baby diapers same concept you can stand up for an adult or lay down to change yourself and it goes on just like a you know a baby diaper obviously so you need to consider which one you want which one is going to be more convenient for where you're traveling or where you're at the event that you're at another thing to remember and to consider is that pull-ups are not as absorbent as diapers are number two is just a question to ponder on do i really need the big bulky abdl diapers if you're going to an outdoor event this is big it's bulky right now during the summer it is super hot and this is a plastic bag diaper and if you are at an outdoor event this is going to keep you really really warm you're going to be extremely warm and of course listen to all the noise that you're going to be making it's not as discreet, in my opinion. It's gonna get very bulky after being used several times. And we finally made it to number one. The most important thing I believe that you should consider if you're planning on wearing for convenience is backups and diaper changes. I think you have to have a mental concept of if I'm wearing a diaper or a pull-up, okay. It really depends on how long the event is. If you're gonna be out there for eight hours, you need to consider changes. Think about backups, how many diapers you're gonna have with you. Think about wipes. Think about locations on where you're gonna to go to change yourself. Will you go back to your car and change yourself or will you go in a portable potty? Or will there be restrooms at the venue for you to change in? An extremely important question in my opinion is your limitation. How far are you going to use your diaper? Are you only using it for number ones or will you go to the extreme and use for a number two as well? If you are considering using it for a number two, I think you have to really be prepared for changes a little more. And of course you wanna travel with a plastic bag to contain the odor and you wanna make sure you have a place to discard of it as well. All right guys, that's it for today. I really hope this video has been helpful. If this video was helpful, leave a comment down below and share with a friend and I'll see you on another video. Bye.